This video is sponsored by VIP SCD Key. VIP SCD Key is a marketplace platform selling official Microsoft keys and game keys. This November, they'll having their highest discount ever for the Black Friday sale. Get a legit Windows key for only $19. But to make it more great, you can have another 30% discount by using my coupon code XTNC to get it for only $13. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or Gcash. Promo is until November 30, 2021. Just check the links in the video description and have your digit Windows key ready. Thank you, VIP SCD Key, for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, what's up? Action here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're checking out the latest C690 motherboard from MSI. So this is the MSI MEG C690 Unify. In this video, we'll show you this motherboard's capabilities with the Intel Core i9-12900K, as well as with Kingston's DDR5 memory, which I'll talk you about in a bit. Pero sa ngayon, let's take a look muna at what parts are we using for this test. First is our RAM or memory, which is a Kingston's Fury Beast DDR5 5200 frequency 32GB kit. With DDR5, there's on-die ECC support for more reliability and on-module power management IC na rin, which gives the module more juice when needed the most. It also features low-profile heat spreader design, no RGB, so pwede ito if you want a blackout team. So bagay na bagay sa motherboard natin. So, meron din siyang Intel XMP 3.0 support and doubled banks and burst length along with the two independent 32-bit sub-channels for more efficiency than DDR4. It is available on both 16GB and 32GB kits as well. For the CPU, like I said earlier, gagamitin natin yung Intel Core i9-12900K so that we can actually showcase not only the CPU's potential but also the motherboard's potential with Alder Lake platform. For those na hindi pa alam ito, the Alder Lake platform is now different than what we are used to pagdating sa mga desktop processors, which is now modeled more towards what we see with mobile system on chips such as Qualcomm Snapdragon. Kasi it now features what we call P-cores or performance cores, as well as E-cores or efficiency cores. With the Core i9-12900K, we have 8 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores for a total of 16 cores. And most low CPU tasks would be given to the E cores, while the high CPU task would be tackled by the P cores. Theoretically, opening up for more CPU bandwidth and giving us more performance, particularly on tasks like gaming. For the CPU cooler, we have the MSI MPG Core Liquid K360, which is a 360mm liquid cooling AIO that features customizable 2.4-inch LCD display which you can utilize to show photos or elements such as CPU temps at iba pa. Acer Tech 7 Gen Pump, pump embedded fan to help cool the surrounding components such as VRMs and M.2 SSD nearby, as well as evaporation proof tubing. There's also included a 320mm ARGB fans with MSI Torx fan 4.0, and also a free upgrade kit for LGA 1700 platform. Pwede ding mag-apply for free upgrade kit yung mga existing users of some MAG and MPG core liquid coolers through the MSI's website until April 30, 2022. On the motherboard, again, we have here MSI's MEG C690 Unify, which has the support for the 12th gen Intel desktop CPUs on the new LGA 1700 socket. In terms of design, I like its salty aesthetic Ideal for, let's say, no RGB or anti-RGB builds. So, dial sa blackout parts nito. Of course, it also supports the new DDR5 memory standard in dual-channel mode with speeds up to 6,666 
mega transfer speed in overclocking mode as well as XMP profile 3.0 support. And PCIe Gen 5 support is also there as well for both the SSDs and the PCIe devices such as graphics cards. By the way, their memory and PCIe slots are mounted with advanced SMT or surface mount technology. And as you can see, there's no solder traces beneath the PCB, allowing it to deliver cleaner high-frequency signals. PCI slots also feature steel armors, giving it more strength to prevent bending easily by heavy PCI devices such as graphics cards. There's also Direct 19 Plus 2 power phase which translates to better power delivery which is important especially when we are overclocking. MSI Core and Memory Boost technologies are also present making overclocking both CPU and RAM a piece of cake. Premium thermal solution with their enlarged, heavy-plated heat sinks accompanied by heat pipes. MOSFET thermal pads and additional choke thermal pads. Aluminum backplate and I.O. cover as well as high-quality 8-layer server-grade PCB made by 2 own stick copper. Other features include 5 M.2 connectors with 4 slots supporting PCIe Gen 4 speeds. So meron din siyang pre-installed I.O. shield for convenience and EMI protection. Dual 2.5 Gigabit LAN port and Wi-Fi 6E is also present giving higher speed data connectivity. Audio Boost 5, which promises improved sound quality. Mystic Light RGB support and a lot of I.O. connectivity option as well. Next is our SSD, which is yung Kingston Fury Renegade PCIe Gen 4 NVMe 1TB SSD, which is a PCIe Gen 4 SSD that uses the Fison E18 controller and 3D TLC NAND flash and promises blazing fast Read and write speed of up to 7,300 and 7,000 megabytes per second, respectively. It also features low-profile graphene aluminum heat spreader, which promises better heat dissipation during intensive workloads. Up to 4 terabyte in capacity and comes with a limited 5-year warranty then. For the case, we'll have the MSI Mag Vampiric 300R. My mesh holes on the sides for intake airflow as well as a front which also has a addressable LED LED strip, may dust filters then as well as magnetic dust filters sa taas. IO-wise, maganda din siya since may USB 3.2 Gen 2 na rin sa harap. Meron din graphics card support, bracket for anti-GPU sagging, and hinge tempered glass side panel so parang pinto siya instead of the usual screws. For the GPU, we have the MSI GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Supreme X 12GB, and the power supply is the MSI MPG A70GF 750W. So now that we are done with the parts introduction, let's proceed to the testing part then. We will be only testing this with Windows 11 and here are some of our benchmark results. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. 